I mean, you can do it all. This you get. So, and then like with 50 recipes, a lot of the recipe books that we sell don't even have 50 recipes. So that comes right along with the purchase as well. And today, if you look at the screen, all right, there we go, $249.98 retail value, our HSN price, $229.99, $168.99. Oh, we do. All right, there it is. You're right, right in black and white on your screen. $229 for just the unit itself. And there's your extra $20, as we mentioned, for the extra Liz. Today, you are buying it for $33.80. That's on any credit card, debit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, no interest whatsoever. And, by, and then free shipping. We're shipping it to you for free. So the question should not be, do I, do I not? It should be how many? It is the, per first of all, it's a great wedding gift. It's a great housewarming gift. And maybe you spend time on your boat this time of year. Pick up one there as well. And look who's here in person. I'm so excited to be Michelle. back. <laughs> so nice, nice to have you. you here. This is your recipe. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. We, we I, that, that was down. the first bowl that I wanted to do. If you want to talk about, I, I love how creative you can get with an Ninja Creamy. So you can do your it's own ingredients. So, good. so tell us about your recipe. Oh, and now, oh, this thank is yours. You guys. Yeah, yeah. So this is my recipe. I said a little earlier, I'm a New England girl from Rhode Island, so we're all about coffee ice cream. So it's a little coffee ice cream, you put a little instant coffee in there, um, and obviously a little milk. The key, the peppermint patties in here, because then you get the chocolate, you get that great mint, and just that little tiny drizzle of caramel. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. I love it. So good. I know. I love it. I this love it. This is so amazing, <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm I, glad you like it too. I did. I like the little bit of peppermint patties mm -hmm. in there. That was a nice little surprise. So you get that little bite as you're going through. Oh yes, my goodness, yes, absolutely. Yummy. So while you're eating that one, I'm actually scooping some fresh strawberry ice cream. And this is so easy to make. This is just cream, milk, sugar, and mm. fresh strawberry. So real ingredients that you can pronounce that you know what is included uh, and you get that really you know nice flavor you know you can really tell the difference in the flavor when it's made with something uh, that is you know with real ingredients that you can pronounce so I remember picking up an ice cream uh, pint at the grocery store one day and it was plain vanilla and it had like five things in it I couldn't pronounce I'm like what is this oh. stuff so here you can make it at home and get it wonderful and delicious and creamy and have that wonderful you know flavor of fresh ingredients so whether you're doing uh, dairy-free or you're doing regular ice cream, gelato, milkshakes, you name it, you can make it into a nice frozen creamy Yum. treat in 90 seconds. Nine, oh wait, 90 seconds. 90 seconds, that's all it takes. So all we do, and when you get the book, like I said, the recipe book that comes with it, I mean, there are 50 <laughs> different choices, but you make your base, right? Yes. And then you just put that in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And then you want to take whatever it is, whether it's vanilla and then coffee, it doesn't matter, strawberry. And then you can add all of your different mixes to it if you want to do that. And this actually, if you look at the front panel, could not be easier. And I said a little earlier, I can see it. <laughs> I'm so happy. I, this is the first appliance I think I've sold on the air where I could actually read it. It's I very love that. easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very easy to use. You know, there's seven different program settings in there. And those program uh, one touch settings are really just for, um, you know, the right speed, the mm -hmm. right pressure for what you're making, whether it's gelato, which is sometimes a little softer, or sorbet, or an ice cream. So, what you saw me doing here is I'm making kind of a, a little well inside a fresh mm. pint of vanilla that we've already made. And I'm going to add to it some cookies. So, we're going to do a homemade cookies and cream. And the, what I love about this is you can choose the the kind of cookies you want, right? So you could do peanut butter cookies or you could do gluten-free cookies. So this is great if anybody's got a special diet that they're mm -hmm. trying to follow and they want to do something that's gluten-free or they, you know, they have a different kind of cookie they want to try it with, they can do that too. It's yeah. really easy. And you feel, the, the thing about it, that it tastes so good, you feel like you're cheating. Yes. Right? But we all need it. Like to me, I said, it's always like that three o'clock in the afternoon when you get the lull or I always liked after <laughs> dinner to have a little bit something sweet. I always have to have something sweet right before I go to bed a big sweet tooth but this you can enjoy that you can have something yes. sweet but you can make it healthy too absolutely absolutely you could do sugar free you could do just fruit i'm going to show mm -hmm. you how to do just fruit in a minute we're going to do a pineapple sorbet but first let me get the um cookies and cream spinning so okay. let's zoom in here so i can see the front because i'm kind of hugging it i'm going to turn the power on there's the power okay Good job. Uh, one second. once you turn the power on all the lights come on like you said before it's very easy to read you can see ice cream light ice cream so this is for maybe like your dairy free gelato milkshake smoothie bowls and sorbet 
sorbet. Plus you have a mix-ins button here, which I'm gonna hit in a minute, and a respin. So that respin is if you know if you take the pint to the couch and you eat, you know, halfway through and then you put it in the freezer and it gets a little hard, you can respin it and make it creamy again. That's cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit mix-ins and we're gonna have a wonderful cookies and cream ice cream. Oh, okay. I already have an update for you in colors though. Do you know there's only 245 left now in the pink? I dressed for the pink today. And only 295 in the mint. I love the mint. Oh, and then the purple, which are, these are the exclusive one. There's only 650. We absolutely are gonna lose these in this hour. There's no question about it. So if you are, you know, thinking about a specific color for your home, Specific, specific color for a gift idea, definitely jump right in and take advantage of it. And of course, still, I know the silver is still the most popular, as it generally is. But the cool thing is, you make the base, right? You put it, and by the way, this configuration, as I said, comes with five pints. In the past, it only came with three. You can buy more. That way, everybody in the family can have their own. That's the cool thing about it. You make the base, you keep it in the freezer, you pull it out, oh, I'm ready for something sweet. You put it in the Ninja Creamy, and in 90, not even two minutes, 90 seconds, you have your own custom flavor. Absolutely. And you can even tell on the front here, there's like a little, there's a little um, progress uh, light here, which it's already blinking because it's already done, but it will tell mm. you how much time you have left if you're anxiously waiting for your ice cream. So this is the cookies and cream that we did. Wait till you mm. see how this scoops out. Look at how delicious that oh, looks. That looks so good. <laughs> Look at all the cookies already in there. So I'm just going to scoop this out. I've got, I think I got a little bit of yours in there too, so we got a little That's double flavor. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of theirs on top. So really, the creativity is where, uh, you know, Ninja really excels, I think, in that they want you to be able to make your own custom ice cream flavors. And it's kind of a choose your own adventure. You know, you could do an mm -hmm. ice cream party, uh, bring different pints for everybody, different mix-ins for everybody. So really, it's just a lot of fun. And let me show you how easy it okay. is to make ice cream. So even if you didn't want to do all the fancy recipes that are in the book, this is how easy it is to make ice cream. You take a, a can of pineapple, Pour it in, freeze this overnight for 24 hours, and then once it's frozen, so I'll put this in our in our freezer for later today. Once it's frozen, this is what it looks like. It's solid. It's just, so it's just a solid um, block of ice cream. So this is solid pineapple. Mm. You could use any fruit. You could use peaches. Um, you could do any canned fruit, any fresh fruit. This is what it looks like once we've spun it. Mm. So let me get you some pineapple Ooh. sorbet. Look at this. Oh Doesn't my gosh! Doesn't that look amazing? It looks, I mean, and it's when you, particularly when you're outside in this hot, yes. hot weather, right? Or this is even good for like cleansing your palate, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, <laughs> sorbets are great for cleansing your palate. We have a couple of palate cleansers because we got some. We kind of go back and forth between like the rich, decadent ice creams yeah, and yeah. then the sorbets. And so this is a exactly. simple pineapple sorbet. Look at oh how gosh. delicious that looks. You could be eating this. Now think about this: as you're looking at this right now, that within a matter of days, you could be doing this at home. You could get those kids. I'm always like trying to get. The grandkids off the computer in there making ice cream you have dinner you're like i need a little something sweet you can go in immediately and have your own custom flavor and gourmet ice creams they are expensive they do get expensive especially if you mm -hmm. go for some of those more gourmet flavors that yeah. have the, like the boozy ones it's got the bourbon and the bacon and yeah. stuff in it so those can sometimes be six or seven dollars <gasps> right pint. you can make bacon ice cream can't you we? can but there is i think in one of the recipe <gasps> books yeah uh, either really? this one or the other one we had out earlier today is a is like they had there was like a bacon bacon bourbon pretzel i think the, like really how, the you know the sky's the limit you know you can use your own Absolutely. creativity your own uh, favorite flavors what i'm scooping out now is actually a um um, cereal milk. So that was really popular in New York with some of the really big ice cream chains. What is and that so, again? Cereal milk. It tastes like cereal. Oh. We had this here. If you want to try it, I'll get I you do. I'm just kind of curious. So any kind of cereal? Any kind of cereal. That sort of looks like cereal. What is that? Like the Captain Crunch berries yeah, yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. I know. Any cereal. <laughs> any cereal Nephews you can like that. try. And so it's got that nostalgic mm. flavor of and your childhood. And you get the crunch, too. It's yeah. definitely got the crunch berries in. <laughs> that is really good. Isn't that delicious? Mm. And so oh really, I think it's just fun to create new flavors, new exciting flavors at home um, with your own pints. And everybody gets their own pint. You get five of them. So everybody in your household can create their own favorite, your, their, their own favorite yeah. flavor. You know, it's different than other ice cream makers in that you don't have this big bowl that you have to freeze. You don't need rock salt. Uh, these are um, the perfect, they're a pint size. So you can kind of negotiate the, the you know, the room in your freezer if you've got other frozen foods in there, which I love too. Per person. Per person. I was laughing because I just here said before. I'm like, mm, yeah, not in my home. Not in my home. Not me. Mm. And I love this idea though with the kids, you just put out all, and, and adults, honestly. Um, some of the best fun parties I've had is when I've done this like with mashed potatoes and things and you put out toppings. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
so you do the same thing and let everybody sort of make their own. It's a blast. Absolutely. And so it was showing you there's some of the different things, the smoothie bowls, the milkshakes, uh, mixing in cookies. You can mix in any kind of candy, which would be really fun around Halloween when you got all that leftover, oh, yeah. uh, um, you know, <laughs> Halloween candy. So this is a hazelnut gelato. I'm going to top on one of these cones here. Oh, this just looks so, hazelnut? so oh, delicious. Oh, I have to try so that one too. Little hazelnut gelato. I think I've got, I'm using the same scoop as I go along. So it's got a little <laughs> of the cereal milk in there too. But here, I'll give you the cone. Oh, okay. There you go. Just try a little that ice way. cream cone for uh, National Ice Cream Day. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, that's really good. Isn't it delicious? That Does it remind so... you like Italy and, and mm -hmm. the gelateria is yes, there? Yes, so because it's light. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because you get the richness of the flavors, but you're right, it's not yeah. heavy it's at not all. Too it's heavy. really good. And when you're using real mm. ingredients and they're re you know, ingredients that you can pronounce and recipes that you've mm -hmm. made at home, you can really taste the difference in the flavor. Exactly. Um, oh my gosh. But I, I have no. that surprise for you again if you're if you're willing to try it. The uh, the sneaky, okay. sneaky mint I'm chocolate ready. chip. All so, right. All right. So this is put this little guy this, down. This is the sneaky mint chocolate chip. Okay. And what makes it sneaky is it's it is a mint chocolate chip ice cream that we made, but the way we made it green is by adding spinach and peas. So if you have a picky, Okay, I'm very <laughs> afraid. I mean, I was petrified in the last hour. I was telling Michelle during the break years ago, I was selling something on the air with Bob Sacosta and I took a drink of it and it was so awful. I spit it at the camera, but I wasn't thinking. Uh -huh. So I hopefully... No, be honest. Be honest. I, I, I think... Trust me, I will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just a well, great... It looks to, pretty. It looks pretty. Right? Doesn't it look pretty? Look at how beautiful that color is. How's it taste? Here we go. Peas and spinach. It's peas and spinach, mint chocolate chip. I like that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually good. <laughs> it's I, okay. I cannot taste a pea. I definitely cannot taste spinach. How do you do this? I mean, so, how? Why? Yeah, so, Why? How? So Ninja's always coming up with great recipes, and all their mm. sneaky recipes are kind of sneaking in some vegetables in there. So you really oh don't taste gosh. the spinach. You don't taste the, the peas. Those just provide the color uh, for it. So you're getting that green in an all-natural way. It's not a preservative. It's not a dye. It's not food coloring. That's insane. You're getting it with vegetables. And peas so and spinach. Look, if anybody ever told you at home you could make this and actually like it, that, that's insane, but it's really good. <laughs> it is really good. So it's a great way to sneak in. Oh you know, gosh. you can be enjoying your ice yeah. cream on your couch at the end of the day and be like, I'm getting my serving of vegetables. It's right. all right. Oh, the kids will never know. Unless they're watching <laughs> this, they'll true. never know, right? That's oh. true. They'll never know. Mm. So oh, now boy. that you're doing something semi-healthy, let's go to back to decadent. So this is, we're going okay. <laughs> we're, we're to do a uh, milkshake here. And I'm going to scoop out uh, some because I want to create some room to add some milk and some other ingredients. And so I'm just going to add one more scoop here. We've got a plain chocolate right there that we did for the base. It does not look delicious. Oh, too, just it plain does. Chocolate. Look at how dark that is. Ooh. So right now I've got a pint of chocolate, and I'm just going to pour in some milk, and I'm going to add some brownies and also some um, peanut butter chips. So we're going to do Ooh. like a traditional, you know how you go yeah. to those old-fashioned like diners, and they do the milkshakes, and they've got the counter with the fun little seats? This is kind of like that, so you can do your milkshakes. So I'm going to add the lid. If you want to, they're, oh, actually, they're already zooming in as I'm, they, I'm Oh, they're, yes. They're, they're over my shoulder peeking in at what I I'm love creating. It. So this is the milkshake ingredients. Mm -hmm. There's a milkshake function on there so I'm just gonna do this backwards here and, and that pan, the functions in. you're talking about are right all just right on the front panel and you guys can see that that's how simple and easy it is very so you just simple hit and the easy button, right? so yep I'm gonna do this backwards to camera so here I just hit the button all everything lights up there is a milkshake function and because I it, I'm too far from the camera so I can't read it but there's a little icon there so I know that's yes, the milkshake exactly function. that's the milkshake. That's how easy it, <laughs> if I'm doing this backwards you can make gourmet things at home trust me so I'm gonna hit the milkshake <laughs> function and we'll do a chocolate milkshake oh my god <laughs> Okay, over 7,000, almost 7,100 spoken for. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. The pink, 225, that is it, left in the pink, which again is exclusive. 280 only remaining in that mint color. And the purple now is down to 639. By the way, the blue, which is going to be, again, then up here, your next most limited color, there's only a little over 700 there. And then, you know, when we talk about some of the other ones, we don't have, like, the most quantity is in the silver, because the silver is the number one color, and the cinnamon. But the white is only, like, 1,400, and I think, oh, about 1,100 in the white. And the rose gold has been popular this hour. So the whole crew is out. We are having an ice cream party. Why? It's National Ice Cream Day. Woohoo!
So everybody is here enjoying ice cream. And the cool thing about this with all the different pints, everybody can have their own. You can have your own. You can make your own. How's it taste, guys? All right, good. This is a show they're very happy. They're very happy to be here today. <laughs> I love all the happy faces. Everybody looks like satisfied. Okay, wait, David, you have to try the pea one. Oh, uh, the pea spinach one. Taste this. Oh, wait, I'll give you your own spoon. Okay. I guess it should be sanitary at least, right? <laughs> See what you think so they don't think I'm just like making it up. Peas, spinach, and chocolate chips. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Oh my. <laughs> They're the peas and spinach. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. So that's a mint chocolate chip where we use the vegetables to make the greens. So here mm. they're showing you, you can just have your pints ready in the freezer, ready to go. You make your base, and then all you have to do is creamify it. And so you've got that creamifier paddle. And Ninja really went to restaurants and chefs to see how they were making ice cream on demand at, you know, high-end restaurants. This is a similar technology in that it's shaving the ice and making it creamy all at once. And so you're able to do these gourmet treats at home with whatever flavors and whatever ingredients you would like to use. And so whether that's dairy free, whether that's gluten free, mm -hmm. um, no matter what you want to make, you can make it in your Ninja Creamy. And so our milkshake is done. So I'm gonna pour this in. Look at how thick oh, and delicious that gosh. is. And you oh know, my what goodness. do you pay, right? When you're going, like if you go into the you know specialty stores mm -hmm. or even going to get a basic ice cream milkshake and you have no earthly idea what is in it. Yes, and right? you know exactly what's in it for mm -hmm. here. This mm -hmm. one is really decadent because it's got brownies and <gasps> peanut butter as oh well. But I'm gonna gosh. top it with a cherry. We'll make it super gourmet. Oh. I think you have, have some chocolate syrup here, so we'll make it super decadent oh, here. Not? There we go with the chocolate syrup. Oh my and goodness. And just like that. Just and you like can you, do this at home? You can do it at home. And how fun would that be to do, you know, if you're having a party, or if you've got, you said you the kids over. Exactly. Um, they can make their own ice creams. They can make their own sweets treats and milkshakes too. Oh my gosh, you can do it all, but you just have to have the unit. And I, we are so proud of the fact that, listen, this is the lowest, lowest price anywhere. Lowest price we found anywhere, even for us, twice before we had this on the air, both times it sold out. One time it was like 190 was shipping, the other time it was like 200. So at 168.99, $33 and change, I believe on FlexPay, incredibly affordable, free shipping and handling, and then you always have the full 30-day return policy. The only decision that you have to make is what color. What and I think if you have maybe friends or family that are getting married, this has been and finally, a great year for weddings. It's a great wedding gift idea. And you know what? It's a kind of appliance you think, would I really use it? I am telling you, when you get this home, and here's the reason why. The reason why you are gonna use it, because you're not out there for hours and hours and waiting and the rock salt and all this other, if you've ever, when you grow, grew up, right? I know growing up, my mom or my grandma was important, made ice cream and it was just like, we were like, really, is it done, is it done? You don't have to go through any of that. This is quick, simple. You make your base. When you put it onto the Ninja Creamy, it is 90 seconds to your own personal customized ice cream. It could not be better. And it tastes, the taste is so different. When you're not tasting all of the preservatives, you're just tasting great, delicious ice cream. Exactly. I love seeing everybody over there. They're all trying the mint chocolate chip that has the spinach in it. And so, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Everyone's trying. It. Everybody's being adventurous today. But, you know, that's how we're getting that green flavor. So rather than using, or that green flavor, that green coloring, you know, rather than using food coloring, we're mm -hmm. using vegetables to get it. So what I'm scooping out now is a um, mango and peach sorbet. So this smells so, I wish you could smell this. Why haven't we figured out smell a vision on television yet? Oh my yet? gosh, but This yes. smells so good. I can smell the fresh mango, I can smell the fresh peach. Uh, so if you wanna do something that's maybe lower in fat or more lower in calories, you can do these wonderful sorbets oh. and have that, like you said, that little something sweet that you need at the mm -hmm. end of dinner or at the end of lunch. Uh, you know, you want that little something sweet, you can make sure that it's also, you know, for your dietary restrictions and lower exactly. sugar too. I think that's the best part about it because so many times you feel like you're, you're losing out right because exactly. you, you know you're something you maybe you're on a diet or you're trying you're a vegan right or you're trying to watch your calories or you're trying to watch your sugar content and when you go to buy some of those ice creams i bought some of them and brought them home and went they taste like cardboard <laughs> here it's not going to taste like that it's going to taste great because you are going to make it yourself and make it and the other thing about this i think so much like you know fruits 
are so expensive right now. And nine times a 10, you get them home and you feel like you have to sit and eat the whole thing immediately. Well, isn't this a great way? Because I bet you can do it with bananas. Something yes. like bananas, we right? Bananas. Fruits that mm -hmm. always, you know, oh, you know, like I swear to God, I buy them and they're yellow and then they're black the next day. <laughs> but this is a great way to kind of in, indulge in something exciting. Exactly. With, but get something healthy at the same time. Exactly. I feel like I look at bananas and they start to go brown. Yeah, so I, that first one's always perfect. And then I'm like, oh, what am I going to do with the rest of these bananas? Yeah. Traditionally, you know, you'd make banana bread. Um, but if you're going for something that's maybe like a little bit healthier, a little bit low fat, yeah. all you have to do is use the bananas to make an ice cream. And, it, and that's as, e it's as easy as that. So you're not getting all the flour and extra things that you would have, you know, the extra calories in banana bread, but you're right. still enjoying that wonderful, creamy, sweet treat. So we've got another treat for you. So I, I like to go okay. from like healthy to like, you know, decadent. And so this one is going to be a s'mores ice cream. Mm. So we already have some chocolate ice cream here. I'm just gonna kind of uh, push it aside and create a little hole in here so I can fit some uh, mix-ins here. I was gonna say some fix-ins. They are fix-ins, fix I guess. Fix-ins and mix-ins. Fix some fix-ins. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna add some marshmallows in here to the middle. I'm also gonna add some that graham crackers. Good. Like you can add anything. You can add anything, anything you want, whatever your favorite flavors are, you can add it. I like to do s'mores. I love s'mores, but I don't like being outside by a fire in the middle of summer because it's so hot. So I like yeah. to have my s'mores flavors uh, in more of a, you know, an ice cream uh, Agreed. sense. So Agreed. that way it's a little uh, cooler. Mm. So this is this easy to use. I'm just going to, uh, when you hear it click, that's a lock um, function. That's a part of the safety feature. So it, once it's locked in, it's ready to go. And let's zoom in here because I'm, I'm, I'm going from behind. I'm used to doing this at home in my own kitchen <laughs> where I'm, I'm, I'm facing it normally like you would at home. So, all right, there is the uh, power button. Everything lights up. You've got your seven different functions here, you know, from ice creams to milkshakes. I'm just gonna hit the mix-ins buttons here and we'll get some great s'mores ice cream. Ooh, can't wait for that. So we are now down to the final 200 left in the pink and 250 left in the mint. So the, the race is on for the pink and mint. They're gonna be sold out definitely on the next presentation. I'm not sure when it is, but you will not see either one of those colors. And the pink and the mint and the purple are exclusive. This is such a great gift idea. They keep coming in. Now we're rounding up everybody in the crew, relaxing, enjoying. Listen, to be able to come to work, sit back. You haven't moved. I haven't been yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> the, the same spot. But listen, it, the most fun that you are going to have is when you get it home, and it's something that you can engage. Like I said, if you're looking for something to engage the kids in and to engage, you know, the grandkids in, and to know that within, think about that, 90 seconds, you literally can have your own custom-designed ice cream, which is ice cream that you made knowing what's going into it. And remember, again, that this book that comes right along with it, these recipes, when we did this in the past, First of all, when we did it in the past, you only received three pints with lids. You're getting five pints with lids, and you could pick up more, which you definitely want to do. But the recipe book in the past only had 30 recipes. This has 50. There are 50 recipes in here now. And honestly, everything from like all of your delicious, there's gelatos, there's, oh, coffee milkshake. I'd be all about that, right? Because that's going to be my favorite. Ooh, thick white Russian. Oh, that sounds really mm -hmm. good. <laughs> Yummy. And then you have your sorbets in here as well. Your uh, fruity ice cream. You can, remember, you can make regular ice cream. You can make low sugar. You can make light ice cream. Um, cinnamon bun ice cream. Wow. There's a dairy-free coconut vanilla ice cream. I love coconut. Uh, your basics are in here as well. And you can take, and there's a light, so you can take your regular chocolate ice cream and make it like a light ice cream. So we are at 7,400 spoken for. And this value today, just to put it in perspective, um, you don't pay separately for this. It comes right along with it. It's exclusive. It is new. And it is, we've never had a TS on this before because, as I said before, it's sold out. Like $200 was the price last time and sold out completely. So enjoy it. All righty then. That looks good. <laughs> Do you want the cone or the pint? Um, I'll take the whole pint. Okay, here you go. I already, I already got the spoon in there. So that, if you want to show them Why the not? inside too, that yeah. pint looks delicious. It's got all see? of the graham cracker and all of the marshmallows already mixed in. <laughs> um, so you you've got all there? of your ingredients uh, blended in. Look at how wonderful and delicious that is. Oh, and you know man. how expensive uh, those kinds of specialty ice creams are when you buy oh, them this in a is pint. Good. Isn't it delicious? Wow. <laughs> Mm. So again, you know, you're making your fresh chocolate base, and so that's uh, milk, so cream. One of the ingredients we use is a little bit of cream cheese. That's what gives it that nice, creamy, oh. rich 
orange oh. flavor, just a little bit. That's and then cool. also um, cocoa, and then that's it. Right. I mean, that's really all the ingredients you need. And so once you start making this at home, I think you're gonna love it because you're gonna know what you're eating. You're gonna know what the ingredients are. There's not anything in there you can't pronounce. You can uh, make your own pints, and so it's showing you how you can have your freezer stocked full. You put your uh, base into the creamy, hit a button, and you have a wonderful frozen creamy treat in 90 seconds. And that's that creamerizer paddle you can kind of see inside the machine and what's going on there. It's shaving the ice and mixing it and making it that perfect creamy texture in just 90 seconds. And so Ninja went to uh, chefs and restaurants to see how they were making ice cream on demand when you go to a fancy restaurant and they make those like fancy flavors. Oh yes. Uh, this is how they do it. And so now you're mm. able to do that at home with whatever ingredients you want to use, whether that's dairy-free, sugar-free, or super decadent. Like super decadent is with really the, good. <laughs> with, the, with the chocolate, uh, you know, s'mores mm. uh, ice cream there. So I'm going to scoop a palate cleanser for you next, though. Okay. <laughs> this is mm. just a lemon sorbet. Um, so again, you know, you can turn anything into ice cream. Anything you want to make into ice cream, you can make it into ice cream. So I love to do the fresh fruits. Uh, look at how beautiful that turned oh out too. Gosh, so that's that just a gorgeous. lemon sorbet. It smells delicious. Mm, I'm gonna give you the, mm, I'll mm. give you the little cup here. here and we go. by the way, I would just let everybody know that honestly, with this purchase today, you're saving like, what is it, almost $80, because it's 60 some dollars off. And then that shipping and handling, the shipping and handling is free. Shipping and handling is $17 on this. Okay, here we go, manja. Lemon sorbet. Mm. Isn't it First fresh? First of all, it melts in your mouth. Oh, that is so good. Yes. And how what's, How did you make this? So it, the recipe's in the book, uh, you know, it's just lemon and sugar and water, basically. It's just kind of like really? how you make lemonade, except you freeze it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I've got a, um, a, a uh, vanilla ice cream here. I'm just creating a little hole. We're gonna do a cookies, um, not a cookies and cream, I'm sorry, a cookie dough. So we've got our own little cookie dough here. I'm gonna put some of the oh. cookie dough in the middle and then we're gonna mix that in. So if you have a favorite cookie dough that you like to use, maybe you've got something that's gluten-free you want to use that too um, you can do that so I love that you can add your own mix-ins and make your favorite flavors whether you want to make you know something that's traditional like the uh, cookie dough mm -hmm. or you can do a gluten-free I also like the peanut butter cookies those are really good in here oh so, yes that's a you, great idea you heard that click that's a locking mechanism I'm just gonna hit the power button and then everything lights up um, I'm gonna select mix-ins of course you have your six different functions here from you know gelato to milkshakes to ice cream and light ice cream and then this little button here is for mix-ins this one down here for respin, that's if you take the pint to the couch and you know, and you still have a pint, you know, half a pint left over and you put it in the freezer and it gets a little hard again, you can respin it to get that creamy texture. So I'm gonna hit mix-ins and we'll have some cookie dough ice cream. Woo! And by the way, this is the pink one. 180 left. That's it. 180 left in the pink, and in the mint one, there's only 224 left. So just throw that out there just in case you're interested in those colors. Uh, and there's only about a little over 500 now left in the purple. And the, and the blue, a little over 600 left. They are flying. And we're so glad you're with us in this hour. Listen, and we, my producer Pat and I were saying how wonderful to have this today special on National Ice Cream Day. It's National Ice Cream Day. So this is the day that maybe you never thought about buying an ice cream maker or maybe you have bought ice cream makers in the past and you have found they're a lot of work. You know, I'm limited. I can't make, I just can't make my own custom without doing a lot of additional steps to it. Or you made it years and years ago, right, with all of the ice and all the rock salt. All that's gone. It could not be easier. And in this book, with all of these amazing recipes, which are normally, when we've done this in the past, 30, you're now getting 50, 50 recipes in here. You literally can make anything. So whatever your diet or anyone in the family, whatever the diet is mandating, you absolutely can make it. And the, the recipes are, well, that's the other thing about the recipes. They're so easy. Like they're really simple to make, even when you're and basically making it from scratch. You know, we talked about like that delicious lemon sorbet, which was like what, basically lemon, water. And sugar. And sugar, that's, that's it. it, that's it. And it's so good. So it doesn't matter what you were looking for, but I want you to do yourself a favor, have some fun. You know, get the kids together. You know, if you, I love when everybody's over at my house, 
house and wanting to be able to have that special little something special that's exactly what this is because you can have your favorite dessert you in can. 90 seconds you can and you're seeing the cream uh, cream riser petal now it's uh, going through and shaving and making it nice and creamy and so you can kind of see the inside there I like that we do these videos so you can kind of see what's going on mm -hmm. inside the machine so that is just like the rest of the high-end restaurants ha uh, have to make their ice cream on demand it's very similar technology and oh, you're really? going to be able to have it at home and so I want to show you guys I've got the uh, cookies and cream ready to go but I want to show you inside before I scoop it because it makes this wonderful little swirl so you can see exactly how creamy this becomes look at how look at the texture of that look at how nice and creamy that is for our cookies and cream so I love that I can get uh, things just you know so delicious oh, and yeah. just like you know my favorite uh, gourmet ice cream shop but I can do it at home mm. with the ingredients that I would like to try now earlier you were mentioning bananas I actually yeah. have a pint of bananas here so Ooh. this is just Let's plain bananas so we were talking about fruits oh. earlier and how easy That's it is to make some of these this is nothing but bananas so want to look in yeah oh they're already look <laughs> they're oh already looking gosh. inside there yeah so this is just um bananas that have been like mashed up and frozen so kind of like how you'd mash up bananas for to make banana bread uh -huh. you just mash them up to make them frozen in here and you make a nice banana sorbet no added sugar no milk so this is dairy free and look at that oh so instead of making banana bread with Yum. your older bananas you can make banana sorbet and it's really oh delicious if you want to grab a spoon go ahead yes, and grab yes, the yes. pint I've, I've basically <laughs> gone through pretty much all the spoons that, it's just like a traditional ice cream shop right yeah, where you get a, you get a spoon it. for every you get to try know, all the flavors and get a spoon right? for every flavor so that is just I plain banana it's just bananas just bananas oh my gosh you're right it's Fruit just bananas. bananas. <laughs> That's like, oh my gosh, that is really good. Yeah. So you could take this and then I could add. You can add chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, Banana right? chocolate chip would be That'd delicious. That would be really good. Delicious. And so you just mash up the bananas the way you would to make banana bread, except you put it into your pint, freeze it overnight, and then that way you nice. can make your pint of banana sorbet. Just one ingredient. Super easy to do. Super easy to do. You can even put peanut butter chips. I think I'm going to have to do this when I get home. I think that would be really good. Peanut butter and, and chocolate chips, peanut butter chips with the, with the banana. With the banana? Oh, and, and it's dairy free. There's no milk or anything well, in it. That's the yes. thing. So for, for all the people that go, you know what, I can't have ice cream, you know, because that's obviously probably one of the first things that goes, right, when you're on a diet or you're watching when you're eating. You can. Because remember, you are in control. That you can make anything, even vegan. So I, I think that's crazy that you can make anything, any ice cream. You can be as decadent as you want to be or as low calorie as you want to be, but you are making it yourself with your own ingredients. And it's something that now doesn't take half the day to do. It just takes a matter of minutes. And we have already, look at all of the different flavors and we're going to be making more flavors again as we're going through. 152 left in the pink. So I wanted to mention that, and I love this pink one. So the pink one uh, is definitely now going to be gone first, uh, but the silver is still definitely in the lead, which I think we find that right. You want to be able to have, you know, everything keeping that stainless look in your home. So we still, and we have a really good quantity in the silver. So the silver is definitely going to be here. The pink, the mint, the blue, and the purple. Those are the ones that the quantity is just in the hundreds of. There the they are. The pink matches your shirt. I, I know. I dress for the pink <laughs> I love it. I love it. So what I've made here is a smoothie bowl. So we've talked about ice cream and gelato and milkshakes, but you can do smoothie bowls too, which is mm. great for, you know, if you're, I don't know if you've ever been to those specialty uh, smoothie bowl shops, but they get really expensive. They can they, be, you know, $12, $15. And you pay per ingredient that you you're do, adding, which is you crazy. You do everything that you add in. So yeah. look at how wonderful and spoonable this is. <sighs> and so this is perfect mm. for summertime. I love the summertime flavors of it. Here, I'm just going to pick up the bowl so I can get that last little scoop. And then you can add your own toppings. And so for that summertime flavor, we've got a little bit of shredded coconut that we're gonna put on the side Ooh, here, a little yummy. bit of granola, ah. and then also some berries. And so I love that Why you not? can do these wonderful smoothie bowls at home. <sighs> you get that, it was like tropical flavors, uh, you know, but you can also do, I've seen people do uh, healthy things too, like adding their protein powders or their collagen to their smoothie oh, bowls. Great and idea. so you can do that as well. So listen, like I said, you can be as, as decadent as you want or scheduled. And how, that's a great lunch. <laughs> it's, it is a great lunch. Our breakfast, you know, our it's breakfast. so hot. I usually go out to our patio for, for <laughs> breakfast in the morning, but it's like 100 degrees now in Florida, so yeah. I have to have a cold breakfast. <laughs> exactly. That is a perfect breakfast right there. <laughs> it does. It does. I love it. Okay, I have to try it. Yeah, go ahead. Grab Why not? There's more spoons right behind you. I know. I did. I, it, brought, we're, we're I brought a whole bunch of my spoons, and <laughs> I just came in my pocket. It's just like an ice cream shop. You got you got a spoon per flavor. You can and try what, them all. What was the flavor? This was... Uh, that's a raspberry um, smoothie bowl. Mm. Oh, 
Man, that's so good. Yeah? That is so good. I and love you know, it. If sometimes you'll buy ice creams and you go to the store and I'm like, okay, I think it's supposed to be a certain flavor and I'm looking at the box going, mm -hmm. it doesn't even taste like it. When you make it yourself, and you're making it, again, with real ingredients, right? With real fruits, real nuts, real whatever it may be. You can just taste the awesome, awesome flavor. And fun! So not only are you having fun, but you're getting that opportunity just to really... And be creative. Get, say, get the family together. Get the kids together. You know, if, it, if you're a family that normally can't wait till, like, you know, after lunch, the kids are, let's go get ice cream, and you're getting in the car, and you're driving to the ice cream shop, right? So you're driving to the ice cream shop, and maybe, you know, maybe there's four of you. Do you know, by the time you get out of there, you're probably spending at least $30, right? So you're, pay, you're basically spending like a flex pay payment of, by, by going out with just like a family of four to get some ice cream. Here, you can eat this and do this at home, in the privacy of your home, make whatever flavors that you want to make, be in control. Like we said, you want something a little lighter, why not? You're looking for something maybe that's a little more, as we say, richer or more decadent. You can do that as well. But the bottom line is for one day, and at this point, as I give you another update, uh, first of all, we will be at the 8,000 mark right around the corner. But almost, yeah, almost 8,000, as you can see, 7,800 gone. The pink, 138. The mint, 185. And about 500 left in the purple. And then, oh, I was just going to ask you, you can kind of make some of these, right, if you want to add a little bit of liqueur to them and oh, things like yes. that. Oh, definitely. We can, can do that too, can't we? Yes, I'm going to make a Prosecco float for you here the in a minute. The boozy ones. Boozy, from yeah. smoothies to boozy. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It is always 5 o'clock yeah. somewhere. I'm on vacation in about 20 minutes, so Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So this is some fresh pistachio. Look at, <laughs> I, so I'm cool. just going to keep stacking it. We'll see how many uh, scoops you? of pistachio we can do. But do it's it. one of the most popular ice creams. I, wanted, I want you guys to zoom in and look at the nuts <sighs> in there. Look at how fresh fresh that looks. Mm. Um, I love it when you get when you get an ice cream and it's like actually got the flavor in it that yes. you want. And right. so and you can taste it. You can really taste right. the difference in those fresh flavors. And so this is a uh, fresh job. pistachio ice cream. I love it. I, I, I can't. That's the one I think so I'm going to go So I'm going out to that specialty store. I'm buying three scoops of ice cream. I'm, like I said before, you're a family of four. You're easily looking at a flex pay payment. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's at least $12 well, yeah. for, you know, a big cone yeah, of, of uh, fresh pistachio ice cream. So let me get you a spoon. Oh. Because we are playing ice cream shop here today. We are. If you want to try the pistachio there. Maybe I'll eat it out of the pint because yeah, I don't want to ruin it. your beautiful <laughs> display. <laughs> go for the pint. Mm. That's how I usually eat it at home anyway, too, is just take the I pint. I do, too. <laughs> oh. Isn't that delicious? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that is really good. If you love pistachio, that is so good. And, and this one, too. I throw a little bit, because I'm going to throw chocolate in everything. Mm -hmm. You could even put some of my little uh, peppermint patties in here, too. Ooh, that would be good. That'd be good, right? I a love bit of that you've introduced me to peppermint patties oh. and ice cream. It's really good. That little bit of mint mm -hmm. and chocolate, it's really, really That's good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a butter pecan. You were talking about making things boozy. You okay. could totally do a bourbon butter pecan. That would be really, really delicious. Do I we have bourbon I, We don't. We don't. Oh. I'm going to make, I'm going to do Prosecco in a minute. We, we, do, we do have a little bit of celebration stuff here. So I've got the butter pecan ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pecans. These have just been uh, sauteed in butter. You can smell and taste the butter in these because these are, you know, hand so you know, hand done on the, uh, you know, we've done them. So we no. know exactly what's in it. There's no, none of that like chemically, chemical flavor. You know, yes. sometimes you get an ice cream at home and it, and it has that little bit of chemical, the mm -hmm. preservatives, no preservatives because you're making it fresh. This is how easy it is to use. I'm just going to put this in here backwards, set it in. It locks, you hear it click. That's a, a safety mechanism. And then everything lights up when you have the power on. And so there's seven different um, functions here. I'm just going to select mix-ins because we just want to kind of mix in those um, sautéed pecans there, those toasted pecans. You're doing really well with the backwards thing. Uh, you know, I've had to get used to it because I'm used to working at home for the last two years where I'm in my own kitchen and, and things are behind me like they normally are on the countertop, like they will be for you at home. So now I'm having to get used way to more challenging this the way. today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so you can see it, actually, if you want to zoom in. You can kind of see it mixing in the uh, butter pecan there and, and mixing in those pecans with the uh, with the ice cream. Um, it's really fun. I mean, once you get this home, you're going to love trying different mix-ins, different flavors. You know, you can pick any candy and mix it into, like, vanilla. Um, but it's really, really delicious. Uh, and I love that you can customize the flavors. You can customize your own ingredients, whether you want to do sugar-free or you want to do fruit or you want to do sorbet or do something decadent like adding bourbon to the butter pecan yeah. and doing a bourbon <laughs> butter pecan. Put some bacon in there, too. I don't you? Oh, like, yeah, like... Bourbon? 
bacon, bacon butter, butter pecan. pecan. I'm coming up with recipes. Check. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> We've been coming up with a lot of fun recipes this show. Even the banana with the chocolate chips with the banana. Yeah. Like I've always, I've always mm -hmm. just done the banana as like something healthy. I need to start adding some, adding some uh, <laughs> chocolate chips to it too. Perfect. That sounds oh delicious. So here is our butter Yum. pecan. If you want to zoom in on that before I scoop in, look at how delicious oh, that, that looks. looks. So good. I love the texture because you've got all the real nuts and stuff in there. Yeah. I'm just going to put this on the ice cream cone right here. Hopefully, I'm, I'm doing this one-handed. Let me make sure I don't spill it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, Look at that man. cute little cone of butter pecan. Yum. Um, so really, I just, I love that you can make anything into ice cream with your Ninja Creamy. That, yeah, um, that's the bottom line. Is that you can take anything, you know, again, think of throw, throw some M&Ms in there, mm -hmm. anything at all. So here's the bottom line. Um, I know right around the wheel is about 15 minutes remaining in this presentation and the opportunity you've had to be able to grab and take advantage of it, the lowest price we've ever offered that basically, because your shipping and handling was close to $17, that is free. The unit itself, $229, and the configuration, $240. $49. It's yours at $168. And it, always having the full 30-day return policy. Flex pay. So again, on any of your credit cards, even your Apple Pay and PayPal, to get it home for $33 and change. And know that you immediately, like you don't have to spend hours. It's not like you have to, you know, do the prep and you have to wait for hours and hours. You're not dealing with the ice. You're not dealing with the rock salt. You're not dealing with any of that stuff. And as we said, once you have your basic ice cream, you bring it out, to, you put it in the Ninchi to make your custom design flavor where you're mixing everything, it's like 90 seconds. So, and you can, with the pints, because remember again, you're getting five pints. Configuration we've had in the past had only three. We've thrown in two more. A very popular today was the additional purchase of more pints, and that's the pint with the lid, and I definitely encourage you to pick those up as well, and we'll pop that number back up on the side of the screen, because you will, particularly if you have a large family, or I know we do, like yesterday, it was my granddaughter's birthday. You know, it's 34 people. I mean, we always have like lots of people. So, you, and you always want to have it ready, right? So you can just, whether it's after dinner, it's in that afternoon when you want that little snack, you go for it. But you're getting an incredible buy today. I hope you just put it in your cart, get it home. Because when after this and you go out and try to find it, you're going to be paying a lot of money. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So are I want to teach you something here we, a little yes, bit. Yes, do okay. it. So this is a raspberry sorbet. We're going to do a uh, Prosecco um, sorbet. So I, I always get that song stuck in my head because I keep saying raspberry sorbet. But yeah. anyway, raspberry. what I want to show you is sometimes when you do the sorbets that are just fruit, it might come out a little crumbly. That's like a granita, if you've ever made a granita at uh -huh. home. Um, if you wanted to get it more smooth, all you have to do is the respin function. So this is going to taste great with Prosecco on it. So I, I don't mind that it's not a ball of, of, uh, of um, sorbet. But I wanted to show you, I actually have it in here. I'll respin it to show you that you can change the consistency with that respin function. So some of the icier ones, they can do that. They can come out more like a granita because it's just yeah. sugar and ice. That's a great idea. Like yep. you say, if you put it, you eat some and you put it back in the freezer and then you pull yep. it out and you're like, oh, it doesn't taste right. You could just easily do the respin. Oh, it feature. tastes great. It's just you want to get it creamier, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's always going to taste amazing <laughs> if you made taste it. It's going to taste great. Woo. So uh, I'm just going to hit the respin function on that and get it just a little bit creamier um, so that way we can uh, enjoy our Prosecco. But I'm going to pour some Prosecco while that's going. Oh, righty. Now we're talking. Yes. There we go. Prosecco oh. flow. Ooh, that looks so good. And this is perfect for like brunch or parties. Yes. Um, you know, it's a little something different than doing like a, a mimosa or. Do you drink it or do you, you eat can, it? You can drink. You can drink it. You can definitely drink it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Does that look delicious? I, I love all the bubbles. More. The bubbles are the party on top, right? I agree. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, very, very, very happy. That is really good. Isn't it delicious? And you can see this spinning. Oh. This is the raspberry sorbet spinning in there. So we're just making it a little bit more creamy. Um, so if you're making your sorbets and it comes out a little bit more like a granita and you want it to be more mm -hmm. of like a round ball and a scoop, just use that respin button and it will be that perfect creamy texture. This is so good. Isn't that fun? Yes. I, love, I love Prosecco floats. I mean, this is my summertime. I've never had one before. Really? Mm. Oh, well, then I got to teach you a recipe. You yes, taught me a recipe, and I, taught, and I got to teach I you love one, it. too. It's really so good. Here's that rest, or the uh, raspberry. Mm. We just gave it a respin, so that That's way so we good. can get it a different texture. And look at that. Oh, so I see what I'm you're saying. I'm just going to scoop it in, and it's going to yep. be. 
perfect. And so, see? Look at that. A little raspberry oh. sorbet. Oh, I'm going to have that song stuck yeah, in my head I all know. Day. Now we're going to think forever we are. <laughs> okay, so we have only like 10 minutes. I know you're going to see a clock that is coming up on your screen. I'm going to jump back over quickly. Oh, that's so good. That's Isn't that good? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a, a, another opportunity to see all of the color choices. We have the final 100 left in the pink. The exclusive guys are right in the front. So I'll, I'm going to go ahead and start with these this time. 100 remaining in the pink. If you were thinking about this beautiful pink, the pink, um, new, a new color, but also an exclusive color. So if you are shopping out in the retail market, you're not going to find the pink anywhere. Then the mint, what was it left in the mink pad? I think 100, mink, mint. <laughs> I think it was like 140, something like that left. 130, so 130 left in the mint one. So pretty. And then the purple, we have about 500. So those are the most limited, and these are the exclusive colors in the front. But even in the blue, the blue, I think we have like 600, something like that left. This is the rose gold. Next to it is that red, or like a cinnamon cinnamon kind of color. Next to it, we have white. I think there's about 1,000 left in the white, something like that. And then finally on the end, uh, you're looking at the cloud silver. And the cloud silver was definitely the most limited. And don't forget, over I wanted you to see this because in other configurations we've done that were way, way, way more money, you only received three of the pints with the lids. We're giving you the two extra pints with the lids. And this book, this recipe book, it's a book. It's not like a little pamphlet. The normally 30, there are 50. It's like buying an additional cookbook. There are 50 recipes in here as well. And that comes right along with it, right? So you don't have to pay extra for this. This comes right along with it. And all of it today at like $168. You have your flex pay on this one. You have free shipping and handling. All of our today's special for July are free shipping and handling for our birthday. But this one, the most fun because it is National Ice Cream Day. It is, it is. It I is. wanted to show you the consistency of this one before I uh, scooped it. So look at how wonderful and smooth this turned out. This is a dairy-free hazelnut. This is only dairy-free hazelnut coffee creamer. That's it. You, I just, I, I opened up the bottle and poured it in and froze it and then spun it. That is how I like to make my Seriously. That is exactly how easy I it mean, is well, to make ice cream. You know what, you never think of it being anywhere near this easy to do yes, that. Yes, yes. And so for wow. the dairy-free free flavors, I love to pick out my favorite dairy-free um, ice cream creamer because they're already naturally creamy and they're right. already, like, flavored. So it's a really easy way to, uh, to make a dairy-free wow. ice cream is just to pick out your favorite coffee creamer. And I got to tell you, in the fall, the pumpkin spice coffee <gasps> creamers are so... Oh good for oh, ice cream and this is how they turn out all you have to do is pour the creamer into the pint freeze the pint overnight and then you've got a beautiful dairy-free ice cream the next day and it saves you some money too i mean it's mm -hmm. a lot less expensive than buying dairy-free ice cream you know if you get your favorite coffee creamer i think my favorite coffee creamer is about three dollars for a bottle and i can make two pints with that so that's a dollar fifty a oh, pint it's really really uh inexpensive so here here you're seeing the inside that's that cream of fire paddle going through and kind of shaving and making that wonderful creamy consistency uh with anything that you want to freeze and turn into ice cream, whether that's traditional, you know, vanilla, or if you want to do something, uh, you know, more decadent, like we were talking about with the uh, butter bourbon butter pecan with bacon. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so write us, right? So please find me, find me, find me on Facebook or Instagram, and Rochelle's open, because I want to know if you made that. I want to know how it came out. Oh, so we want to yes. hear. Uh, definitely let me know uh, your favorite recipes. I want to taste this one. Oh, this go was, for that it. Was that, the that's the dairy, dairy one, hazelnut. right? Yep. And then what I'm scooping it. right now is just a birthday cake and so we've got a fun little birthday cake flavor here with some sprinkles mm. isn't that good it's just like the creamer yeah well, it yeah. is <laughs> obviously mm. it's really easy to make so this is just a, a mm. birthday cake uh, cone with that birthday cake flavor really easy to do this one here is the hazelnut and then i think our last one we have here is a um blueberry frozen yogurt so you can do a froyo we haven't even talked about oh, frozen yogurt exactly so you know froyo has been really big over the last couple of years and so you can do your own frozen yogurt so this is just blueberries and yogurt um you can use green Greek yogurt or regular yogurt, whatever you prefer. Look at the look color. Look at the I was just gonna say, look at the look color. Look at the color on that. Mm. I mean, and you know this is gonna be healthy. Like you're, this is yep. like, you know, you're having your sweet treat at the end of the day. Like you said, you like to have a little something sweet, um, you know, after dinner or right. after lunch. Make it a little healthier. You know, if, it, if it's blueberries and yogurt, that's, you know, that's a healthy, you know, dietitian, uh, you know, uh, approved snack. And then look at how wonderful it scoops. Let me scoop this into the blue one here and you can see how beautiful Beautiful, oh the froyo comes gosh. out. Doesn't that look delicious? <gasps>
delicious. Oh. And you can put toppings and stuff on here. I know some of those Froyo shops were really popular for a while where you could add different toppings and they would charge you by the weight. I, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they charge you by the weight and then you pay extra for all of the different toppings. Yes. So here you can do it all yourself. Thank 8,200 have already been spoken for. Oh, I have to taste that one. Oh, here. <laughs> I'll give you the pint. I'm not going without tasting every I single one. I love it. One. You've made me really feel like I have a little ice cream oh, shop my, here today. I know. Because of all the little spoons. <laughs> like a little taste all. of everything. Oh. Isn't that delicious? It's yeah. really good. Yeah. It's so good. And you can taste what it is. I mean, right? That's the whole point yeah. of this, too. Yeah. When you're using wow. real ingredients, when you're mm. using fresh ingredients, you have that more uh, just Yum. vibrant flavor. I remember the first time I made strawberry ice cream in my Ninja Creamy. It's like I had never tasted strawberry ice cream before. Like, <laughs> I could really, it was when, during Florida strawberry season. And so, oh my gosh, the strawberry flavor was just so rich and so vibrant. And, um, you know, and it was just milk, cream, sugar, and strawberries. That was it. And I think a little squeeze of lemon to, um, you know, to get the strawberries mashed up. But yeah. It was so delicious and so good. So you're going to love getting this home and, and having uh, ingredients that you can pronounce, ingredients that you, um, you know, that you know are what's in it. So whether you want to do something specialty for your diet or you want to get really creative uh, with some fun flavors, you can do that too. If you can freeze it, you can turn it into ice cream with the Ninja Creamy. And now, right now you're seeing the inside and that creamifier paddle going through and shaving uh, the ice and making it creamy and getting that wonderful consistency as well. Um, so I just, I love it. We've made so many ice creams today. Let, let's oh think about gosh. all the different ice creams Rest. we've made. And we came up with our own recipes. Our own recipes. <laughs> I can pop mine up again because I know we have only like, what, a little over two minutes, by the way. 80, 100 left in the mint and 80 left in the pink. But there's my, oh no, it's coming up on the screen. My yummy, yummy, and even Rebecca liked it. Yep, yep, it was delicious. Yep, yep. Coffee, a little bit of coffee. I'm going to show you how to peppermint make it. patties. Peppermint patty, a little bit of that drizzle of caramel in there, but it is so yummy. Like I said, it's definitely like a New England favorite. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to pop that right up there so you can kind of just cover there it. it. There you go. So it's just simple. It's like heavy cream. You put a little bit of sugar in it and a little bit of instant coffee and then a cup of milk. So you can yeah. use any kind of milk also. That's another thing, right? If you want to mm -hmm. use like a low calorie milk, I mean, low fat milk, you can do that as well. But that was mine, but we have done everything again showing you that whether you want something like i said a little bit more rich rich or decadent we decadent did the, we did the butter pecan and then I, right. I had the idea of adding bacon and bourbon to the butter pecan we want to hear about that one <laughs> yes if you try it let us know i might try that when i get home yeah you have to try that yeah, one when yeah. you go home that'd be yeah. great and then we had the plain banana so yeah. those mashed up bananas if you just want to you know instead of making banana bread make uh you know frozen banana sorbet and then all you have to do is add some chocolate chips or add some peanut peanut butter chips and make it really delicious and like the gelatos that you can make and the front panel once again which is you can read it it's easy to see and because they all and I think the point about this is that because they all need they they mix it a different consistency they right do, so this will do. mix them all to perfection yeah. whether you're doing you know the ice cream as we talk about the sorbet light the smoothie bowl uh, that gelato Yep. Whatever you're doing. They're all pre-programmed at the right time, so the right pressure, the right spin, and the right amount of time that it needs to go through the pint. So they're already pre-programmed in there mm. to make it really easy, so it's just the push of a button to make your favorite ice cream. I love it. And today, the lowest price, and this is what we were so proud of here at HSN, lowest, lowest price that we have that we have ever offered, that we found anywhere as well, and the configuration, because that configuration, again, giving you, and this is really key, because this is you're going to be happy you have this, 50, not 12. Right, there are 50 different recipes. Before in the past, when we presented, it only had 30, so we gave you 20 additional recipes. The pints with the lids, you actually get a, a, two more, because normally we gave you three. You're now getting five pints with the lids, and you can buy more. I know we've been popping that number up on the screen if you want to pick up the, and you definitely do, because everybody's, everybody's going to want their own, and you always want to be able to have it ready to go and ready to mix in a custom design. Free shipping and handling, enjoying the flex pay on this one as well, and my gosh, I think we're all, we'll, we'll be at that 9,000 mark right around the corner, so this this was the most fun. I am so excited oh that it was gosh. fun. I'm excited to be back in studio, too. <laughs> it, it's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a big difference. I know, I, first of all, I wouldn't have been able to taste anything. The mean time what, I was say one two three four we four we made about what 12 we've made more than that I think Probably we've more made than like that. 20 20, 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think we've made 20 pints of ice cream in this hour <laughs> and even the one my friends with peas spinach and chocolate chips Mint that chocolate was chip. actually good. And the whole crew's back over there munching on them as well as men too. So, <laughs> so much fun. And at item number 792, there they are. 
back for more. 792497. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm on vacation for a few days, but my fabulous friend Callie is coming up next with a great electronic show. So stay where you are and cheers. 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 You need yours. Here's Michelle. There we go. A little bit of Prosecco with her. There we go. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous